Get business commentary on Web3 news related to NFTs, crypto, metaverse, and more. The show is streaming to you from Dubai, the global crypto capital. Welcome! I'm Ayman Aitani, your host and guide to the exciting new world of Web 3.0. In this show, we're going deep into NFTs. What are they and who owns them? I'll also look at how the mainstream media is getting involved early in Web 3.0. Like a work of art, an NFT is unique and owning an NFT can have very profitable benefits. However, a recent ownership change by Moonbirds, a valuable NFT project, triggered a controversy about who owns what. If you read the headline like, Moonbirds just made all their NFTs public domain. You are not alone in thinking, who are Moonbirds? What is the public domain? Between you and me, what's an NFT really? Moonbirds are mainstream NFTs, like board apes, which I hope you've heard of by now with all of the celebrity endorsements. Public domain means you and I can take the NFT, put it on a shirt, and sell it without copyright issues. Why is this a big deal? You and I today cannot put a picture of Eleven, L from Stranger Things, on a shirt and sell it. Netflix owns the rights to Stranger Things. One of the value propositions when someone sells you an NFT is that you are the owner of the copyright of the NFT, like Netflix owns Stranger Things. The controversy now is about who owns the rights to what? But first, I bet you're watching this video on an iPhone or an Android. But wait, the Web3 phone is just around the corner. Will you use it as your main phone? Would you buy a Web3 phone instead of the new iPhone? Web3 phones are Android-based devices with easy access to Web3 apps, game, payments, identification, and other Web3 functionality. The Web3 phones are giving me a very strong vibe of when Microsoft unsuccessfully built its own phone, but really succeeded when its technology was available as apps across all other operating systems, not only their own. The logic for a Web3 phone is valid so that you can get Web3 technology in the hands of as many people as possible. And a phone is a widely available channel. I do not have a clear answer yet because the blockchain platforms are still building the devices. So the phones don't exist commercially yet. I do have my doubts, but there are smart people on these teams. We will have to wait for the early versions of these phones and decide. I cannot wait to get my hands on one of those. Some mainstream media were slow to catch on to the potential of the internet. Web 2.0, especially on mobile. With Web 3, some large media organizations are making sure they embrace Web 3 early. Photo footage from the 1970s all the way to today that could be documented as NFTs, then made available for sale as co for collectors. They might be famous spaces, famous moments in time, famous people, or they might be just be some personal attachment that you or I might have even been in the picture. There's an additional revenue stream, potentially from images that were tied up in an archive, not doing anything. Global exhibitions and education about the UAE, and then for Gulf News, it enables them to engage with a much wider audience than their traditional readership base. Gulf News selected the pictures that they th thought suitable for this event, and they're very nice images, really uh, um, unique uh, icons in the UAE, who then mint their work. Everything is on Virtua.com. We will have more on NFTs and Web3 in our next video. So don't forget to follow or subscribe if you want to know more about Web3.0. I'm Ayman Aitani, and I'll leave you with how Instagram is getting us all comfortable with NFTs. Flexing and showing off is huge. I want to show off my watch, my car, my hot partner, the brands I wear. We do this all the time. The digital equivalent of flexing is showing off the NFTs you own. Instagram made public the ability to show off your NFTs by posting them straight to your feed. The content you post shimmers and shines to differentiate it from other content. It shows who created the NFT and indicates who currently owns it. Obviously, you, Mr. and Mrs. Shaw, a key benefit to the Web3 industry is that Instagram is helping expose millions of people to NFTs. Instagram is triggering brands to go into the Web3 space. Brands know and trust Instagram, which allows the brand marketers to talk to their boss about Web3 without being judged.